skittering and scurrying, scrapping and scratching. Among the deafening cacophony, you hear a voice, one not quite human, as it pierces through the sewer. The human world will fall, whispered a monstrous rat. You have but one choice to make, will you fall with it? This is the Song of the Vermin. Greetings everyone and welcome back to the Aetherhub, I'm Sybin bringing you more Magic the Gathering lore. In this video, we're continuing our journey through the macabre and dark places of MTG story. This is 13 Nights of Magic. Rats, carriers of disease and bringers of disorder, feasting indiscriminately on whatever finds its way into the sewers where they nest. These creatures can, in Magic the Gathering's multiverse, often take on monstrous forms, from endless tides of vermin to zombified and phyrexianized horrors. Rats in MTG can be a lot more terrifying than their real-world counterparts, and that idea can be seen ideally on the plain of Eldraine with a king who skulks the dark, disgusting places of Eldraine. Eldraine, a world based on a series of folklore and fairy tales. Of course, there's going to be an interesting take on rats. From helpful, mischievous mice to downright diabolical rats, Eldraine has a lot of interesting takes on these critters, and none are more terrifying than the sewer king, Lord of Rats, Skitter. Lord Skitter is a rat of incredible size, strength, and cunning. Little is known about his past, but according to all available records, his life started just like any other of his kin. In fact, he wasn't born as this titanic figure of the underworld, rising from common gutter rat to Lord of the Sewers. Skitter's blessing came not from an angel or divinity, but from the shadows of his home, the dark ruins of a lost civilization and the ancient evil that brought it low. Deep beneath the human village of Edgewall lies the catacombs of what was once a great dwarven city. Long after its fall, only rats now call it home, but there too also stirs a shadow. A demon. We do not know why maybe out of devilish curiosity or pure dumb luck, but a yet unnamed rat came upon the demon and was infused with its essence. Was this done purposely, or did the rat simply feed off the demon's blood? We do not know. All we know is the result. Lord Skitter. The demon's power infused the rat with enhanced strength and wit, and now he could speak, giving himself the name Skitter and dubbing himself the Sewer King. With his power, Lord Skitter easily took control of the rats flooding the tunnels beneath Edgewall. Still, as rats, they were ever driven by the pursuit of food. Forever hungry, Lord Skitter instructed his servants to scour their home for sustenance, but quickly found his resources ran out. He was a lord now, and his tastes grew more elaborate. With picking slim in the sewers, Lord Skitter concocted a terrible ethos. Those who scurry about the surface humans, had exterminated his kind in all manner of horrendous ways. They feasted on the best food of the land, leaving them with but table scraps. Lord Skitter made it his mission to bring the world of humans to ruin. Soon, they would wallow in the dark, and his brood would feast in their great banquet halls. This was his promise to his kin. But this wasn't his only goal. Lord Skitter had acquired a taste for humans. The people of Edgewall would make the perfect meal for his nestlings. But how to harvest this new food source? With his great cunning, Lord Skitter planned to manipulate a human to do their bidding. And it all started with a man named Tottentans. Tottentans was nothing more than a struggling musician, a traveling bard trying to make ends meet with his questionable music abilities. He desperately sought validation, fame, and the willing ears of the people of Edgewall, the perfect target for Lord Skitter's schemes. Totentans found himself stumbling into the sewers of Edgewall, and was met with strangely coordinated rats. They didn't speak to him, but their movements seemed to usher him deeper into the dark tunnels. They led the bard to Lord Skitter's chambers, where he shocked the man by introducing himself. Stunned, Totentans could do nothing but listen to the huge rat's proposal. Lord Skitter explained how the human world would fall to his horde, that their end was nigh. The only question was, would he join them in death? 
The King Rat promised Totatan's great power. Everything he ever wanted could be his through Skidder's grace. He just had to agree to be on the winning side. His side. With the people's ridicule and scorn fresh in his mind, Totentans agreed. Lord Skidder, with his demonic magic, crafted a pipe that played a magnificent tune, one that carried with an enchanting spell. Totentans will play this song for the people of Edgewall, entice them into the sewers, then his brood would feast. He did as his lord bid, playing his pipe and enthralling many of Edgewall's citizens. With each person missing, more rats seemed to gather in the streets. The problem was starting to get out of hand, and the mayor of Edgewall began taking action. First, he tried traditional extermination, setting packs of rat-hunting hounds into the streets, but found these vermin to be more clever than previous infestations. The rats gathered bones for the dogs and turned them into personal steeds. It seemed nothing was going to stop them. Totentan's pipe didn't just control people, it also used Lord Skidder's power to command rats. He used the swarming rats to avoid capture and confrontation as the people correctly tied him to the recent disappearances. The war for Edgewall was in full swing, and the rats were winning. Yet, with their will tested, the people of Edgewall would rise to the challenge. They banded together and overpowered Totentans, stealing his pipe and arresting him. They learned of the pipe's power and used it against their enemy. The town folk herald the rats to carry Totentans back into the sewers, then cast his subjects on Lord Skidder himself. The vermin feasted once again, this time on their lord and the human servant he had conscripted. Now without a ruler, the rats below Edgewall returned to their normal behavior, and so too, over time, did the people of the town. But. There are again rumblings coming from the sewers, and some fear that Lord Skidder wasn't truly defeated, and that the Sewer King will someday rise again. And there you go my little panicking planeswalkers, another night of spooky stories as we go through the 13 nights of magic. Please let me know how you're enjoying the frightening content in the comment section below, and please support our haunting work by leaving this video a like, sharing it with friends, and becoming a subscriber. It's the best way to help us spread more grief across the multiverse. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and until the next foreboding evening, see ya!